Ladies and gentlemen, F123 is among us. And thanks to EA, I now have some early access. Okay then, ladies and gentlemen, we've been waiting for this all season long. He might be small in stature, but he's a mighty racer and one of the most exciting drivers to break into F1. It's Webby87. Oh my god, that was so cringe. Well, anyway, today we have got some F123. It is finally here, or at least a preview version of it. Let's do it. Well, here we go then. We have got some F123, a sort of preview version of the game. Uh, we've currently got the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. We're about to do some one shot qualifying. And I am on controller, which is how I normally play F122. Um, so I thought, you know, for any controller players out there, it could be interesting to sort of see what the handling is like. Look at that, we are away. You can already see a few differences. Slightly new graphics. And oh, the handling. The handling that everyone's been talking about. Oh, I tell you what, it definitely, it's definitely different. I can say that already. Look at that, he's so confident to just flick the steering wheel. Oh, that felt quite nice through that corner actually. Oh, we've gone a bit deep there. Oh, I should say as well, I am currently using some assists. Um, you know, yeah, yeah, laugh at me. I can hear you laughing at me and judging me. Uh, but now, yeah, I've got, um, currently got medium traction control, some ABS and the racing line, as you can see. And then I will try turning some off later, see what that's like. But yeah, back to the handling. I'll tell you what, the steering is very different, uh, believe it or not. And if you look at the steering wheel, look how responsive it is. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It, it is a lot more responsive on controller. That was the main problem I had in F122. Like, if you try and weave, like... The steering wheel would pause in the middle, and I always hated that, but it doesn't appear to be doing that anymore. So that would be quite nice. Well, here we go. We have got the Formula One Qatar Airways... Qatar Airways Grand Premio Del Made in... No! I couldn't even finish reading it all out. Uh, so we've got a very short race, which is now a five-lap race. They've slightly changed that system because of the, the new 35% race distance. Let's do this. Start race. Here we go. Quite excited. Three, two, Don't know how much throttle to do. Oh, okay. go, Apparently we can do quite a lot. Two, three, Whoa, okay, four, right, that was quite a good start. Uh, the ERS thing does look a little bit different. It's now a big yellow thing. Wow. What I should quickly mention as well is that this preview version of the game doesn't have some of the new features, such as red flags and the new tracks, although they will, of course, be in the game when it's fully released. Already, I'm liking the handling. It's, it's sort of, I feel like it takes a long time to get used to, so it's, so it's hard to immediately say what it's like, but it, oh, it feels, it feels nicer, I would definitely say that. And I'm, I'm not just saying that because, you know, everyone else is saying that, like, genuinely, I'm, I'm quite liking this, actually, to be honest. It just, it's much more responsive on controller. Um, so, and because it now means it feels a bit more real, you know, like F122, it, it almost doesn't feel like you're actually driving the car. It's, it's weird. First sector. And look oh! Whoa! Okay, right. Well, that's our first experience in the gravel. Um, obviously, that was deliberate, as I just wanted to see what it was like. And all I can say to uh, that is... Uh, hello. Hello. Um, what I should say as well, as you can probably see by the sign, is that there is still work in progress. Oh, okay, yeah, so anyway, as I said, there is still work in progress. Um, just to let you know, like, if you if you see a side pod on a Mercedes car, for example, um, then that's not because that's how it will be, that's just in this preview build. Yeah, they're just beginning to push the boundaries of the racetrack some more as well. Ooh, it's, it, the cars feel a bit more, a bit more nifty. I mean, I guess they would be quicker, because you know, in real life, the 2023 cars got quicker. Oh, right, you know what? It is time. Let's turn some assists off. I'm going to leave the racing line on because I can. And that doesn't actually affect the handling of the car. Okay, now this is this is the big moment, really. This is it. This is it. Hello. Oh, oh. oh, okay. Okay, I'm finding the limits. I'm going over the limit to find the limit. Whoa, that's a huge lockup. Whoa, whoa, you go down the inside line. Whoa, is that a slightly new sort of smoke animation for locking up? I think it is, that looked a bit different. It feels a bit easier, no assists, which I think is how it should be. Whoa, whoa, Nick DeVries. Oh, see, look at how quickly I could go flat. Incredible, incredible grip. Oh my God, I might actually just use no traction control from now on. If It's definitely a lot easier, and before, like when I, went over the limit too much. I didn't just instantly spin, I had a snap 
which I could recover from. Oh. oh my god, like there, see, I feel like in last year's game, if you did that, you would just be in the wall no matter what, but you could sort of recover there. I'm going to put ABS back on because I do have a skill issue. Um, and I just, I want to really focus on the traction control. Oh, we're going to send it down the inside of Mr. Freedom. That lighting up the rear tires. Oh, and see, look, back to the steering as well. It felt, it's very responsive in terms of like changing direction. You know. Here we go, across the line. P19, get in there. We now have the Hungarian Grand Prix, which is actually located in Hungary. Can you just shut the fuck up? <laughs> we're starting quite far back, so we've still got no traction control. Uh, so we're going to try to start of it now. And it's lights out, away we go. Oh, hello. Norris does get away very well. I mean, that definitely feels easier than a no traction control start in F122. Oh. Whoa! Wait, Verstappen's next to us. What are you doing here? Is he doing like a last the first challenge again, just for fun? He's got that board winning races. But he's not winning this one because we're going down the inside. What a move. Oh, see there, I forgot I even had no traction control. That's Whoa! That's not very nice. I feel like there must be like a huge increase of people using no assist now when this game comes out. I mean, I will be one of those people. Yeah, I do like that. You can put down the throttle a bit too early and kind of just deal with the oversteer, if, if that's how you like to drive. And by the way, if you are a SkyQ or a SkyGlass customer, make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming F123 action. I would greatly appreciate it, and if you don't, Verstappen is going to come to your house and give you a kick. Right, we're going to try and get P11. Uh, although we have got a time hand team, so we will try and get P11 on track, down the inside of Zhou Guan Yu, and onto the power. <laughs> Whoa! Again, you know what? I've just realised I haven't even spun yet. What do you want, a fucking medal? I guess it helps the fact that the steering is more responsive. Oh! <laughs> what? Yes, here we go. Here we go. Right, we've got to do it. We've got to get P11. At least on track anyway. Oh, the hype! The hype from Mark. I'm we loving it. That is definitely oh, new. I've never wild. heard that before. Oh, oh look at the moves we're the making. There. That's all because of Mark. That was that was all Mark that was. He got me in the mood for that. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Ah! Oh my god. Okay, right. Well well that's what a crash looks like, ladies and gentlemen. Right, you know we can we can quickly see what it's like with no front wing. Gotta rotate it around that curve. There it is. Sweet as direction change, good. Okay. It well it's slower. Who saw that come in? There's also now loads of Qatar Airways adverts. Um, you might be able to see them. They're kind of hard to spot and not very frequent. And there we go. That's the end of the race. Pretty good experience playing on controller, to be honest. Uh, it, the handling, it's more responsive. The steering, you know, if you're going like bang, bang. No traction control. Definitely a lot easier. And yeah, and because it's a lot more responsive and easier to counter steer, which is obviously helpful. I just want to quickly say thank you as well for all of the support on this channel. I do feel very lucky to get this early access of F123, which of course I couldn't have done without your support. So yeah, thanks to anyone that supported this channel in any way. I do really appreciate it. But yeah, I don't think there's anything else to waffle on about to be honest. So um, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.